ada latihan coaching klinik sama Daigo dan Robin Isida. Di sini kita diajarin e, bagaimana drifting baik dari setting mobil, baik dari teknik e, drifting yang benar. Ya mungkin ini bakal kita lakukan ke depannya buat teman-teman rookie yang lain karena mungkin banyak yang tidak bisa hadir hari ini. Jadi sekarang kita mengambil ilmu dari mereka berdua itu nanti kita akan sebarkan lagi ke anak-anak yang lain. Jadi sekarang kita lagi aciles mengadakan coaching klinik bersama Robi dan Daigo dan ini kesempatan kita untuk sharing uh, brainstorming tentang mobil kita, setup, terus pengalaman dan kita akan coba latihan di sini. Sebenarnya bukan latihan sih, seperti ke lebih ke coaching. Jadi saya akan mencoba mobil saya dan saya tetap cari settingan untuk mobil ini dan mungkin pembalap-pembalap lain juga supaya ini membantu juga drifter-drifter Indonesia untuk kedepannya lebih maju lagi. Oke, gue udah ganteng belum? Dah, <laughs> basah nih. Oh, Hari ini kita melakukan coach, apa? Uh, saya mengikuti coaching klinik bersama Daigo Saito dan Robin Ishida, di mana mereka uh, melakukan personal coaching ya. Jatuhnya mereka duduk uh, di samping kita dan itu sangat-sangat uh, uh, merupakan pengalaman yang menyenangkan karena kapan lagi gitu. Daigo Saito juara satu. Overall Champion USA, Overall Champion Asia, dan kali ini ikut di mobil saya. Dan lupa di One GP, di One GP itu ya, itu tahun yang lain. Tahun tahun juga, tahun 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 Hari ini gue seneng banget ada latihan kayak gini nih Ada yang ngajarin juga Daigo sama Robin Isida Tadi udah sebentar ngobrol-ngobrol sama dia Terus dia udah ngasih pengalamannya ke kita ya Gue sih seneng banget hari ini Semoga kayak gini sering Hari ini seneng banget karena kita bisa dapat bimbingan secara private dan secara langsung sama Drifter senior kita yang saya itu sama Robin Isida Gue harap bisa ada kayak gini lagi sebanyak-banyaknya supaya Drifter Indonesia lebih maju Dan mobilnya bisa lebih proper lagi dengan saran dari Robin Isida dan Daigo Saito Oke, okay. Just try to do the best. Um, infield too. We made it a little bit okay. wider, so later when we do tandem, it's more. Okay. You don't have to worry about the phone speed. Yeah, so you have more space, so you can practice more tandem than the track. So today's key is not about driving the track good, but to be able to adapt and drive um, how you can the most out of what you have right now. Uh, are you gonna use yes uh, the the wet track right? I mean like uh, not yeah, behind the, the lane. Not not uh, as like qualifying yesterday. Okay. <laughs> What you guys do? I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Put something in your hair. Okay. Um, uh, you already got a radio there. I got one radio. Hey, oh, they do? Yeah. Okay. okay. Robbie, I was gonna start into the same thing like yesterday. Okay. What, what oh are you yeah. Gonna, okay. Just go ahead and set up something so everybody just starts there. I mean, I just want it to be like a. I want it to be a little systematic so everybody kind of tries to do the same thing. Yeah but the best of what you have and what you can do. Then then, that goes with blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 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 uh, What do you want to start? What do you, what do you want to start? Well, propose? you can just, just discuss it with them. <laughs> but I, I would say, don't even, I mean, don't worry about doing it like far and getting high speed or whatever. Just make sure that you drive. Today is today, so try to drive it. Try today's track at today's condition in the best way you can. Okay. You know? Let's put some the starting line you guys can decide. The initiation cone, is it the wet track initiation cone or the no, that's, that's the, the, the dry? It's the same. The dry track? It's the same thing. So they left it the same. Okay. okay. Yeah. That, that's just the way it is. So. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But just try that one. It, it should be... Well, we look at it too. You should be okay. looking. I think it's just more of... Um, 
Yeah. We'll just try it. We'll watch. But okay. just hey, and then guys, make sure just drive safe because this is practice. This is not competition. Don't break your cars. Because it's not worth it. Always different. Like you guys aren't consistent. You guys are doing something different all the time. Like at least you can have like one that's back to back. But sometimes you're like this, sometimes you know you have less e-brake or more e-brake or more angle or less angle. That's that's probably uh, just that short period of time that we can see from everybody. Or it's like that's what everybody kind of shares. Like the uh, lack, lack of Some of the other guys, even if they're not consistent, at least they have. You guys have like, you always have your weight transfer going, so you come out and um, you give good angle. Like um, Dio was probably your angle was probably. It, it comes Dio's out really nice. Than it comes with, it comes out really nice, but I don't know if you're not just going super hard towards the outside or not. But then your entry is looks really nice. And I'll do you can use left foot brake? You guys use or just you? He said you, he's good. He was impressed, but he said you should use it when you're closer. Because you still have a lot of gap. So if you're going to use it, that should be like the last resort when you're like super close. You don't want to drop the RPM. Because right now you still have time to recover. So I think that might be avoiding you from getting a little bit closer too. Then uh, maybe we can start, maybe just give him a ride, yeah. maybe one by one, yeah. and then he'll just sit and watch or fill the car, and then we'll go from there. But, um, I mean, we all, we all, hey, this is Eminem, you might know, this is Mechanic, but he's a D1 street legal driver, so he knows how to, well, I, I'm going to translate for them, so I'm not going to ride with anybody, but um, just maybe give them a ride. And then he would tell you, or he'll tell me what he feels, or what they feel, then I could just tell you too, like after you drive, so let's maybe do that one by one. Okay. Anybody have a spare helmet for them, or no helmet? Do you don't need a helmet? Oh, yeah. helmet. <laughs> 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 okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, come up to you. Yeah, Tada, hold on. You're seeing your helmet, you're going to come up to you. I have um, I have traveling insurance, so if anything happens to me, my, my family would be happy. <laughs> That's why your wife called me. <laughs> she was strapped in the front of the car. Okay. Yeah, I mean, whoever just ready, we okay. just line up yeah, and Maybe we'll do. 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 Maybe we'll do.
He would like to ride every car, but he might get like he might not feel good. Uh, I'll just ride the people. Yeah. And then he'll ride later when you guys start doing tandem and he'll ride the car that's behind doing tandem. Oh you wanna the chaser? He's gonna be the the, the chaser. He'll, 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 he'll be sitting in the, the chaser car. car later. Yeah. Okay, so who's, who's I'll, I'll just ride. Um, so you're I'll gonna just, I'll just watch. I just won't say anything. I'll just watch. Okay. And so I'll you, come back so you ride. So who's know, who's riding what? It. Hey, we'll we'll go. I'll ride one, then he'll ride one, then we'll just do that swap off for a couple okay. of times. Hey, what are you going to do? 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 Ah, okay. Here, this is a good, better idea. We'll just do a tandem. I'll just start doing tandem runs. I'll ride the car in front. He's oh, the then the car in front just do like a qualify run or the way you want to drive it. And he'll ride the car behind chase and the it. car behind just chase and then like just FD rules. Okay, okay, it's good. The clipping car is in the okay. front. Perfect. That's gotta be something like this. Keep it going. The camera is something like this. Ada samping situ, ada samping aja. Dari gue yang kelihatan. Itulah drifting. Gimana hal-hal mengerikan diketawakan. <laughs> ngerti bahasanya gue. Ngerti. Ngerti. Bahasanya ngerti banget pak. Ngerti. Daigo, Jackstein, huh? no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's drive it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe go to like 70, 70 PSI. Oh yeah? Yeah, trust me. 70? Yeah. Okay, okay. Just playing. Yeah. Kenapa cok katanya? Coba tambahin angin lagi. Angin lagi? Okay. Now it's almost, almost impossible to... Yeah. Like, there's no lower end power, the car is lacking power, and then everything else I'm not even worried about. They're like, you break this. That's so, so hard to work with like that. This much, it's hard to stop at where you want it to stop because oh. it goes so much. Well, I'm not used to the car, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think you should have a better how can I say if it works better, like fast and easy, it's more easy to it's so much easier because you're traveling your hand this much yeah. for it to make it happen. But some people just do that, that's so much faster, yeah. So, yeah, the yeah. reaction time of the car will be faster.
most likely a lot of the guys here, the problem is the car. Okay. And you keep driving a car that's hard to drive, there's no way you're gonna get any better either. So I would say maybe even if you know somebody's not around, when everybody gets together, everybody should kind of trade cars. Not trade cars, but kind of test out each car. Not going towards a wall, but somewhere safe. So everybody has an opinion and everybody can say, hey, my car's like this, oh. my car's like this. You guys should be able to give each other more information, trade information. Like, like you look at his car, I know he has a little bit more power than you, but he, it's 300, it's still in the 300. If you have 300, he has 380. He has 80 more horsepower than you, but he does run a bet. Now, what size your rear tire? Oh, uh, yeah, he runs 265, you run 235, right? Yeah. Everything in his car is easy to get to, so he can do, he knows, he brakes. Yeah. Correct amount. Everything is direct to the car. He has the car set up nice. Your car is, everything's kind of, don't know what's going to happen next. Don't know if the e-brake's going to work, don't know if the rear end's going to come out, don't know what's going to happen, so you have to always drive under that impression of, I don't know what's going to happen next, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're worried. But you have to build the car so that you know, okay, I go over there, I e-brake, I know I can do this, I know I can do this, I know I can do that. That's how the car is easy. That's why we say, we're not saying the car is easy to drive. What we're trying to say is that we set it up to the point that the car would drift itself almost. And we just help and support it. Then you have to work on that. You want to ride with you guys? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, because you can control the car. Like, there is no rear end come out too much. Like, let's say if you still drift in the snow or if you ever drift oh, in the rain, yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah, yeah. lose all traction. But yeah. you can still manage to yeah. control it because yeah. you control it. Okay. But understeer, you cannot control. That's why we're drifting, we're not road racing. So you have to set up the car so that it drifts, not to go forward fast. Because if you, of course, if you spin out, you know, um, it's a zero. But no matter if you're shallow or your line is off, if you drift, you get a score, yeah. right? But if the car doesn't want to drift and it stops and it understeers, it's zero. zero. And there's no point of you even being in the competition anymore because the car's not even drifting. Yeah, yeah. So you have to remember, every, you know, like, don't worry about traction and all that stuff. Try to, I would say it's better to start with less traction first and yeah. get used to it. Yeah. yeah then you so, gradually work on it. Yeah. Because if you have less traction, you can be like, bah, 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 first, second, bah, 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 third. That's what Daigo does, wheel spin oh, a lot, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because okay, his okay. car has enough yeah, power yeah, yeah, to yeah. break the yeah, okay, uh, break okay. loose yeah, yeah, yeah. in whatever RPM. But your car don't have that. So what you have to do is you have to have less traction. So you're making the car similar to Daigo's. It's just that yours is a 300 horsepower version. Yeah. His is a 1200 horsepower yeah, yeah. version. But, but, but I don't have a grip. If I, uh, I, uh, started breaking. Yeah, I know. Why do you need grip, though? For tandem? For tandem? But tandem, that's, that you can't help. Oh. But, if you drift slow, because you have less horsepower, and if the car behind is fast, if they can't control their car going slow, you win. Oh, yeah. Right? Okay. So that's the only way you can kind of beat the guy in front, or if they mess up. But, having no power, like, this is becoming a major competition, yeah. so I don't want to be an asshole, but if you don't have power, then you're kind of screwed. There's not really any way that you can probably win. So, if it's either you just face that and do good tandem runs, or do the best you can with the car and gradually make it better, or if you want to win, you have to do something about the car. Yeah, it's either or. The problem is the car. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That's why, like, my case, my case, I, that's how I started. I, I didn't have money, and then I had to build cars, and finally, I get to the point yeah. that I start to get to drive a good car. But I have so much experience with slow cars, slow and car. you yeah. know, so all that counts too. Uh, so that anyone can start drifting. Well, you can drift anything with four tires on it, you know, if it's rear wheel drive. So um, basically, 
me and Dago came today, we just wanted to see how the setup of the cars were and we wanted to see if it was going the proper direction because even in Japan we see people um, setting up their cars but yet they're going the wrong direction and they keep making the car harder and harder to drive. But the key point to be successful in drifting and you know being in contests and being able to perform good is to have a car that's easy to work with. Even if it's closer to stock, it doesn't have to be fully modified. There's always a way to make the car a good drift car if it has four tires on it. It's all of the setup, so it's more of put a lot of time into it. Of course, if you have money, that would be great, you know, but everybody doesn't have all the money in the world. So you just put a lot of time into it, test a lot of things out, you know, talk to a lot of people, get a lot of information, go online, check everything, you know, and just um, do all that, then you'll eventually be able to get to the car that would be easy enough for you to drive to be successful with. So uh, is there any specific parts you need to Chase a standard car, or you can use just only standard cars. Well, the key thing is the LSD, the limited slip differential, and you need that to do. You can drift without it, but it's not going to look any good. So even if you have a 50 horsepower car, even if you have a 500 horsepower car or a thousand horsepower car, you need the LSD, a good working LSD. If you got that, then you can drift anything. Uh, sorry, only that one thing. That's the most important thing, yeah. So if we don't have LSE, don't start the dress. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> if you want to go full around, you can. You can do anything with anything you have, but, I mean, if you want to, you know, learn the right way and stuff like that, I Which think that's Which best? A good way. I mean, LSE have a difference. I mean, like one way, one and a half, or two, two way. way. So, two way would two be way better. Because be better. one way, one and a half way, they, they don't work my, or it's not lenient. It doesn't happen. And it doesn't do the same thing all the time. Like one and a half way, you're on gas and it's working. But when you let off gas, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. One way you let on gas, it works. You let off, it doesn't work. So it doesn't, how can I say, the feeling of it isn't the same all the time. Two way, it works all the time. So it's probably the easiest to How about to. Uh, the welded? Welded diff too. But at the same time, welded diff is, um, how can I say, it doesn't give traction away so it's always 100% you know working together so it tends to give you more of a understeer feel um, if you don't have enough power to spin the tires that fast so I mean a good working two-way LSD would be the ideal to have but I mean some people prefer if locked we have the good car mm -hmm. but we use welded uh, train mm -hmm. is it okay want to go to FD? It, it's it, there's no how can I say, okay or not mm -hmm. it really is preference of the driver too and it's, it's the way the car is built so like I said if how can I say it if you check how the LSD works if it works together all the time like fully like a lock LSD if you have a lot of power for the tire to spin right away then you don't really have to worry about understeering it that much either so i mean that's one way too i know some people that have a lock diff with a high horsepower car and it works for them so that shouldn't be a problem so maybe you can you give the step by step uh, for a really amateur just like maybe me to start drift how can i start um, drift maybe like uh... <laughs> okay when you first start drifting, you should observe a lot, watch, um, how can I say it, watch videos, watch on, on board, you know, ask people, try to get a lot of information, and at the same time, of course, when you go and practice, don't go and um, practice somewhere that's dangerous. Please be in a safe environment that's for yourself, for your own good. So you save money, you don't have to hit things and break things, get in trouble. If you avoid all that, you know, of course it's the best. And also just start small and don't be afraid or don't be embarrassed of doing and trying anything, you know. If you're going and doing something that's stupid or everybody thinks that it's not right, you know, if you think it's right, you might want to stick with it. Of course, within the level that you think is okay, you know, not something like crazy. but. Um, I guess if you if you stick to that and just make sure that you practice all the time and always think about it or we even you know when we're driving normally when I was younger I would you know just always think about 
I was thinking about drifting all the time. So like the way I steer and all this other stuff. So, I mean, putting yourself and putting yourself to commit to drifting is the key to probably getting better. And just trying out a lot of things, not being afraid, you know, but at the same time, being as safe as possible. Woo! <laughs>